Say it louder. Rick. 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 Would you be willing to spend the night in Colfax's St. Ignatius Hospital, a building reportedly haunted by those who have died there? The hospital, built in 1893, transitioned to a developmental disability home before closing in 2003 and has been vacant ever since. But last year, the Colfax Chamber of Commerce opened up the hospital during the month of October to lead ghost tours, which have helped raise thousands of dollars for the city. Valerie Gregory, Colfax's unified executive director, admits that she was a skeptic at first until she started conducting the tours herself. I, I would have thought that I would find nothing in here. It would just be a creepy building that, you know, it's scary at night. And that always just gets people adrenaline going. But I can honestly say there's things that I cannot explain that go on in this building. During my stay at the hospital, a shadow figure was seen. My name was said through a spirit box, and I was almost moved to tears by spending a few minutes in Rosa's room, a former resident who passed away in the 1990s. Gregory says tour groups from all over the country have come and visited the hospital, resulting in sold-out tours for the rest of the month. Reporting in Colfax, Aaron Polavoy, Murrow News 8.